Well, it's lighting okay, but definitely the, the burner sounds noisier than um, my other regulars. And it also sounds slightly ragged. You can see that I've fitted, put my finger out and point to it, a different um, air control. This is one of the Regner own clip-on ones. If it doesn't cover the holes at all, um, it's just a louder burner noise. And if you slide it to about halfway like that, it's a bit quieter. And it, it pops back okay. And as I notice down here, there's no secondary air hole like there is apparently on some other Regna trams. Now I've got the radio control working. So we'll just see what happens. In the meantime, we'll have another look at the smoke box door. And I've actually repainted that. It's not quite the same green as a regular green, but I didn't have the um, a regular green spray paint. I only had the um, touch-up brush, but it's close enough. And I've also put the heat shield that I made back in position. I tried it with the burner lit, with the heat shield there, and then the heat shield not there, and it made absolutely no difference at all to the uh, sound of of the burner. So the heat shield is not amplifying the, the uh, sound of the burner in any way. While I'm waiting for it to get up steam, notice that this, um, where the copper pipe goes through the burner to become the superheater, that's a bit I broke earlier today. It was actually badly made by Regner. There was only about half a mil of copper inside the stainless steel bit. And so I've replaced this pipe, let me put my finger here, this pipe here with a different piece. And I made sure that it went well inside the stainless steel bit before I silver soldered it back together. Right, let's see if we got up enough steam for something to happen. the blue flame. I would say it was noticeably quieter than before. So just wait till it gets up steam and give it a go. Okay I've got a bit of steam let's see what's going to happen. Yeah. It's like the 
that hole falling to balance. It doesn't make any other difference. Oh, okay.